Well, let's talk more about what's happening on my yacht then with our French politics editor, Mark Perelman. And Mark, clearly emotions running really high on my yacht today. Just explain to us why the government here in Paris say these demolitions are so important. Well, uh, they're saying it's important to fight uh, crime and illegal uh, immigration. And clearly uh, there is a political objective over there, but also over here uh, in uh, France. It means uh, that the government is serious about fighting crime and illegal immigration because it is criticized by the right, by the far right, for being uh, soft, for talking a lot, but not doing much. And so this is why the interior minister, who's in charge of the police, uh, is insisting on this operation. It was delayed because of court challenges. And now he's saying this would go ahead, uh, despite all the tensions it is creating on Mayotte in uh, the uh, island, but also uh, with the uh, neighboring Comoros Islands. And explain to us a bit more then about why there are these tensions with Comoros and France as a result of these demolitions. Well, simply uh, because uh, for Comoros, Mayotte is a part of their countries. Right. They said uh, France uh, has violated uh, UN resolutions saying uh, Mayotte should belong uh, to the Comoros. France says no, there was a referendum uh, several decades ago, and uh, the inhabitants shows uh, France, and uh, th this has been a bone of contention, and France needs the cooperation of Comoros Islands because half of the population in Mayotte hails from the Comoros Islands, and the Comoros Islands have said, you know, we're not allowing boats bringing back migrants on our, uh, our islands, and uh, so France is in a difficult position. They're putting a lot of pressure on the uh, government of Comoros Islands to accept uh, them back, but clearly, uh, despite all the publicity around this operation, this will not solve uh, the issues of Mayotte. Yes, there is crime. Yes, there is illegal uh, immigration, but first and foremost, there's poverty, there's not enough support uh, coming there from the French government, the economy is much too weak, and this has been the major problem. And as the president of the Comoros Islands recently told us in an interview, it's France's responsibility. They've been in Mayotte for decades. If they're not able to de develop their country, it's their fault, not uh, the fault of the neighboring uh, Comoros con uh, Islands. Mark Perelman, thanks very much indeed.